एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन्फो साइंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एनिमल किंगडम हाउ द एनिमल किंगडम आर क्लासिफाइड विद द हेल्प ऑफ बेसिक फंडामेंटल फीचर्स देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ एनिमल स्पेसिस ऑन आवर आर्ट एंड it would be difficult to categorize them into different groups however with the help of basic fundamental features such as level of organization symmetry cell organization nature of coelom segmentation and not accord so scientists have classified the animals into different groups now let us understand each of this basic fundamental features in details level of organization is the first basic fundamental features and it deals with the pattern of cell organization in animals there are four basic pattern of cell organization cellular tissue organ and organ system sponges exhibit the cellular level of organization where the cells are loosely arranged tissue level of organization is more complex and is displaced in cylindrates here the cells that perform the same function are arranged in tissues organ level of organization is exhibited in members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla here the tissues are grouped to form organs and each organ performs a particular function the last cell pattern is the organ system level of organization here organs are associated with one another to form a functional system where each system perform a specific physiological functions animals like annelids arthropods echinoderms and chordates exhibit this level of organization organ system can also differ in complexities in various different groups for example platyhelminthes have incomplete digestive system where a single opening outside the body act as both the mouth and anus whereas human beings have complete digestive system that has two openings the mouth and the anus and the last is the two types of circulatory system open and close symmetry is another feature by which animals are classified they can be asymmetrical like sponges or radial symmetry like cylindrates tenophores and echinoderms however most animals like annelids and arthropods exhibit bilateral symmetry cell organization is the next feature used for classification there are two types of cell organization diploblastic and triploblastic cylindrates have diploblastic organization where the germinal layer of the cell consists of external ectoderm and internal endoderm members from phylum platyhelminthes to chordates have triploblastic organization where the third germinal layer mesoderm is found between the ectoderm and endoderm 
The fourth important feature by which animals are classified is the nature of coelom. The coelom is the body cavity lined by the mesoderm. The presence or absence of this cavity helps to classify animals. There are three categories. Coelomate, acelomate and pseudocelomates. Coelomates are animals that possess body cavity such as annelids, molars, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates and chordates. Acelomates are the animals in which body cavity are absent such as platyhelminthes. Pseudocelomates are animals that possess pseudocelom such as S. helminthes. Now, the next feature is segmentation. So, some animals are also classified on the basis of segmentation. So, the body of some animals like arthropod, it can be divided into external and internal segments. And the last important feature is the presence and absence of notochord. Some animals develop root-like structures on dorsal side during embryonic development, which is known as notochord. Animals with notochord are known as chordates, and animals without notochords are known as non-chordates.